we got here, we got a Harbor Freight item that I'm going to do a review on. And this is something that everybody's been wondering about. And what it is that we have is, if you look right here, it's a portable soda blaster. Now, this is the small version. This is the 15-pound. And when I believe they say a 15-pound portable soda blaster, that means that it holds 15 pounds of soda inside the machine. And then they have another one. It's a bigger one that actually has, um, it's a 45-pound. So we went ahead and purchased this item. And we're going to do a review on it because I believe in soda blasting. Now, I don't know if you can soda blast a car with this. If you can, it would take a very, very long time. But as far as small parts go, I believe it might. Let me get that light back on. I believe it might work out for the best. Um, another thing I found out when I went over to Harbor Freight and purchased this, they actually have some that are already built. They have some that are already built, and you don't have to uh, build it yourself. They have them already built, so it seems like it's a pretty popular item. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. So if we look inside the box, we can see that it has a pickup tube right here. We also have a hose that has a ceramic nozzle on it. That's approximately four foot. That's a four foot hose that uh, is supplied with it. And you also get one ceramic nozzle. We go ahead and look further and we can see that we have the owner's manual right here. And inside the owner's manual, I'm sure that it's going to tell us how to put it together and how to assemble our soda blaster. If we open this up, first thing we talk about is personal safety. The next thing is the care of the tool itself. Um, the most important is instructions pertaining to a risk of fire, electroshock, and injury. Uh, they're covering their ass here. Um, one more thing, this is made by Central Pneumatic, not Chicago Pneumatic, don't get them mixed up. Chicago Pneumatic is actually American made, CP, that's the original CP for anybody that wants to know this. Chicago Pneumatic, okay, that was made in Illinois. So I'm flipping through it here and it tells uh, silicosis and aluminum oxide warnings. Uh, for your health and benefits, prohibit silica sand, substance, blah, blah, blah. Conduct air monitoring and measure worker exposure. Um, do not drop the tank, risk of explosion, okay, because it's a high-pressure ventilation system. And then we go down, and it shows us a picture of the components and basically explains what's going on. We got a media valve on the top. Uh, we got a regulator for the media regulator knob, safety valve. Uh, of course, we got our tank, uh, air regulator knob to uh, regulate the air pressure, air pressure gauge, air valve. Um, that's where our air would go in, and then, of course, our ceramic nozzle. So let me get this uh, put together, and then we will test it out and see how good it works. Okay, um, I was opening the package and I wanted to go ahead and show you. Inside the package you can see that it is professionally packed and it has everything um, packed tightly and nicely and neatly. Uh, here's our tool that we're going to need to put this together. And then of course this is our uh, valve that's going to make everything work. That goes on top of the tank. 
And then it even comes with um, Teflon tape. There's some Teflon tape that's installed with it. And then, of course, I'm trying to get all this out of the way here. There we go. Okay, and then we have our air regulator, uh, water separator. Um, yeah, there you go. All right, now let me get it all together, and we'll see what's going to happen. I like that it comes with a, a nipple already installed, so that's pretty handy right there. All right, we got our unit together. Let me go over a few things that I found that I don't like already about the unit um, before we even put our soda in. First of all, uh, the bracket holding the regulator, air pressure regulator on is great. It's made out of metal. But the nut that actually holds the regulator on itself is made out of plastic. So I was tightening it and you can already feel it stripping and you can also see how loose it is. That means that eventually this is going to break off and uh, you're going to either lose this nut, you're going to have to find another nut for it, or uh, it's just going to be a dramatic situation and you're going to holler and scream and cuss at yourself while you look at it after this thing falls off. Um, another thing I found is it's got the air tube that actually pressurizes the tank. And let me pull this mechanism out. This is our pickup tube. This gets screwed inside. You can see where I screwed it in. And this is what sucks up. Okay, look at the little holes there. Alright. Um, I'm thinking to actually use this properly, we might have to take a drill and drill those holes a little bit bigger. Very, very small pickup holes. Um, another thing I didn't like is every time that you put soda inside this thing, this is the only place to put your soda. Right here. Let me show you that. Okay, that's where you fill it up with soda. So to do that, you have to be very, very careful pouring it in, or you have to have a funnel and then shake the funnel because the soda is a very, very cakey powder. So it's not going to pour in there, um, you know, what can we say, evenly and smoothly. It's going to, you're going to have to tap it, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Alright, another thing I didn't like, I don't know if I mentioned this, I don't like the way that this uh, pressurized tube hooks onto here. Every time that you put soda in it, you have to uh, remove this. And the way that you remove it is you have to take this little blue uh, uh, part of this fitting and you push it in. And when you push it in, then the tube will come out. So it's kind of a rinky-dink situation. Here is our plus and minus pressure for our unit. And then this is our on and off valve um, as we are using our four-foot hose with our ceramic tip. So you can buy ceramic tips for it, or replaceable ceramic tips. That's telling me that these don't last too long. I thought that I bought some ceramic tips, but I didn't. So what we're going to do now is we are going to attempt to pour some soda inside that little hole. And I'm going to be very careful with this stuff because it's messy. And one more thing that I'd like to say is I purchased this soda. All right, this is a Armex Blast Media Soda. This is soda made by Armor and Hammer. And I purchased that over at Harbor Freight. This was $50 for this 50 pound bag. So you're getting a 50 pound bag for approximately $50 and it's soda made by Arm & Hammer. Everybody knows them. And this is basically what they sell. So you're looking at $50 a bag uh, for your blast media to use on your Central Pneumatic 15 pound portable soda blaster. While we're looking at this I want to show you it says 7 CFM at 90 PSI. So they're saying at 90 PSI it's using 7 CFM of air to accumulate what we need. So without spilling this, um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get this in without using a funnel. And I can tell you it's not going to be fun. Okay, I'm going to have to have a funnel for this. Let me find a funnel. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I found myself a little funnel, and guess what? 
the little funnel won't even fit in here. And this is how they say you got to fill this thing. Wow. Let me go get another funnel and see if we can fit that funnel in there. Okay, I found a funnel that will work. But I want to show you, look at this funnel. Can you believe this? Alright, so let's see if we can pour this in here. And it looks like it's going to take a very long time. Yes, it is. Okay, uh, I haven't even got uh, a little bit in there yet. I'm still working on getting it in here. And it's not looking good, guys. So far, I'm not uh, happy with this machine. And I personally really don't even want to try it. I'm already disappointed in this, the way that you got to put the soda in here. Um, it takes forever. I mean, come on. Is this the best they can do to, to, to make a, a, a soda blaster machine? Is using something like this? I mean, if I try to pour this, and I'm going to try my best. Let's see if I can do it without that. I don't think it's going to work. It's going to probably make a mess. Well, I mean, even doing this is just... It's ridiculous. It's a cheap engineering situation here. And I would like to say one more situation. This is not made to soda blast a car. This is made for very small parts. Like if you're wanting to, uh, if you got a piece of metal and you want to get the paint off and the plastic. Or maybe you're a hobbyist and you want to clean something. Uh, you know, like if you're making a model uh, car, plastic model car, or you're restoring an old matchbox um, car, one of the little Hot Wheels cars, you might be restoring an old antique one. This would be something that you would purchase for that. But uh, as far as the automotive world, um, I'm going to say no. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put this thing back together. So we're going to take our pickup tube and we're going to stick it down in there. And I was telling you, let me go ahead and show you this. If you look right here, uh, there's an O-ring in here. Do not lose that O-ring if you plan on buying one of these. You lose that O-ring and it won't seal. So I'm going to go ahead and put the pickup tube inside. And then, uh, I can't put this on because it's full of soda. So let me, uh... Okay. There we go. Alright. Now we can put it on. Now we can go ahead and we'll put this on here. And you gotta have this lined up pretty well. Uh, you don't want to cross-thread it. If you can even get started properly, that is. Okay, here we go. Alright, so it's getting started on here. Once again, we're doing a review on the Central Pneumatic Harbor Freight. This is a Harbor Freight product. Okay, and this is the 15 pound soda blaster. They also have a 45 pound, I believe. It's either 45 or 50. And to make sure we have an airtight fit, we'll go ahead and get that baby on there just like that. Okay, um, I was telling you about this line right here. If you watch real close, you got to kind of get it in there and push it up in there. Um, okay, so that's hooked up. This is our pressure. This is the air. Uh, this is our line that feeds the air to the machine and pressurizes the tank. So you got to make sure that that's on there properly. And then this is our valve that actually turns the air off and on. And, uh, of course, it's got a pop-off valve right here. So before we go outside, let's get a better look at this. This is our uh, pressure uh, our pressure volume um, valve that's going to feed the air into the tank here. And then this is our pop-off valve so our tank doesn't explode in our face if it gets too much pressure inside it. Here is our on and off valve. 
which feeds the air and the soda through our ceramic tip and you can see there's our tip and then this is our pressure regulator water trap this is a water trap that's going to uh, catch uh, any moisture coming in from your air hose into the system so your tank will not get moisture inside it now for all of those that live in the humidity belt of the united states you're going to have more of an issue with moisture than people that live in the dry air states like I do. I'm out here in Moab, Utah, so I'm not really worried about um, uh, moisture in my airlines because I actually have regulators and you can actually see one over here. So every airline hookup that I have, I have a pressure regulator slash filter system that traps oil and water from entering into my airlines. That's very important. Let's go outside. We're going to try this on my trailer. I have a car hauler trailer outside and we're going to give it a shot and see what this thing does to remove rust and old paint on metal. And before we go outside, I have one more item that I purchased over at Harbor Freight. Uh, it was very inexpensive. It's an abrasive blasting hood. You can see that right there. Okay, and it's made by Central Pneumatic. I'm wondering if Central Pneumatic is the company. If that's the if that's that's the that's the, the boss. Okay, so I'm reaching inside the helmet here and I notice that we have some plastic. And this is probably our yes, our clear plastic. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this and we'll peel the other side off as well. And then we are going to um, see if we can fit this inside here. I don't know how it goes in. So I don't like this idea here. This, this is pretty hokey. Okay, hold on. Is this got to, okay, here's a sliding open slider that we can slide this in and it's hard to see but this is supposed to fit in here and it doesn't seem like it's going to fit so let's see if we can get that in there seems like the plastic is too big for the pocket and yes it is too big so okay hold on maybe I got it here hang on let's see very tight fit, I can tell you that. Okay. okay, it's going in, it's just very hard to get in. I got it in there, so um, it's an adjustable hood, and you gotta build the hood to use it. So, um, since I got a big head, I'm going to go ahead and leave it a little bit loose and we'll go ahead and put it on that one there so you got to build your hood and this didn't come with the blaster um, once again this was a uh, separate so let me go ahead and put this on and uh, see if we can there we go okay all right so this is on let's go ahead and pull this down over our head Okay, all right, I got my hood on, and let's go outside, and let's see what kind of mess this thing's going to make, and if it's even worth buying for the price that they're charging for this diabolical machine they call a soda blaster. All right, so I got my soda blaster right here, I'm going to go ahead and hook up my air hose. And then, what's the pressure reading? Zero. So we're going to go ahead and open our valve. We have now got air going into our system, but it's still reading zero. So I'm going to go ahead and up the ante on our air pressure here. And when I'm saying that, I'm talking about turning it on. Okay, I'm starting to get air pressure now. 
So we're going to try to bring it up to... Okay, we need to close this valve. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it up to 90 PSI, just like they recommend. Okay. Okay, we are now at 100 PSI on our soda blaster. Harbor Freight, that is. Um, here's our valve right here, and that actually is a valve that uh, uh, regulates the pressure going into the tank to pressurize it. So we're going to go ahead and open that all the way. So our tank should be pressurized. I'm going to go ahead and put my handy dandy central pneumatic soda blasting hood on. Uh, did I tell you this is a piece of shit? Did I say that? I don't know if I did, but it is. Um, putting this thing on is a pain in the ass. I could already tell you this is a joke. But we're going to go with it. We're going to see what happens. Let me uh, get it on here. There we go. Okay. Okay, it's not on properly, but it's on good enough to actually uh, use to test this thing out. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try our soda blaster that we just purchased over at Harbor Freight. I got it set at 90 PSI, about 100 PSI, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And my camera's actually back about 15 feet. I'm zoomed in. We're going to go ahead and try to remove this paint and rust using our Harbor Freight soda blaster. So here we go. Okay, uh, it worked for approximately, I would say, four seconds, and our pickup tube is now clogged. So we got a clogged pickup tube. Let me uh, see what happens if I turn this valve. Um, the pickup tube is now clogged. Okay, all right, uh, let's take a look and see what happened here. Um, I keep running out of soda. All right, the soda is running out as I'm using it, and it's not working properly for some reason. Let me go ahead and try that again. I'm still concentrating on this area, and I see where it has removed paint, but it hasn't removed any rust. Hold on, uh, our air valve pressure pressure valve just released itself. Uh, is this item worth it? I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm going to tell you right now, no, it's not. It's a piece of shit. Do not buy this thing. Let's try it again. Okay, uh, just found out that uh, our central pneumatic 15 pound soda blaster is basically a pile of crap and not worth using. Uh, we will be putting that back in the box and sending it back to Harbor Freight to get a full refund. As far as our mask goes, um, I'm going to say the same thing about it. If you want to buy one, buy it. If you don't, take my word, it's a pile of crap as well. This whole video 
has been a fiasco from hell. Um, I don't know if you can see that. We broke our ceramic tip. And guess what? I don't have any more. I don't have any ceramic tips. I didn't buy any, remember? So right there tells me I'm screwed. I'm screwed. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, doing a review on a Harbor Freight. Did I tell you that that plastic nut's going to fall off sooner or later? I think I did. I think I did tell you that. Um, here it is right here. Let me grab that. Yeah. Okay, so there's our plastic nut. Since we'll be taking this back and getting a full refund, that is one thing about Harbor Freight. I do like if you don't like the tool that you purchase, get a full refund for it. A full refund is worth the whole shebang of buying it right there. So, yeah, you notice that. Here you go right here. Look. Okay. Um, Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic 15-pound portable soda blaster. Thumbs down. Out the door. Take it back. Get a refund. And don't mess with it anymore. See you later.